Hey everyone, K0LWC here, and before we get into this video about the Anytone 578 and Bluetooth in the Tesla, I have some big news for you. The big news is I am moving from Denver to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Yes, I am moving to the Twin Cities with my family for a new job. So if you're a Minnesota subscriber, let me know down in the comments because guess what? You're probably going to hear me on the air on analog and on digital up in the Twin Cities sometime soon. So again, drop me a comment and let me know. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. What are you waiting for? Now, I hope that most of you know that I drive a Tesla, uh, the best car ever, by the way, and it is my primary mobile car. As you can see, we have the uh, SBB5 antenna on the uh, K400 mount back here. It works excellent. Uh, can't recommend it enough. And today we're talking about the Anytone 578 and how it can be used with Bluetooth in the Tesla Model 3. And let me tell you, it is slick. All right, here we are in my Model 3 now. I did rough in the Anytone 578 down here in the center council area. Now you're going to notice I do have some wires that are running and uh, please ignore that. Again, this is not a final install. This is kind of a proof of concept that this is actually going to work. Uh, and this is where I will end up eventually mounting my radio. It looks awesome down there. The first thing I'm going to want to do is get the Anytone 578 paired up with my car. I'm going to go ahead and click on menu. I'm then going to scroll one click to the left and that is going to be the very bottom of our main menu which is the bluetooth menu i'm going to go ahead and click the button in select it first option is going to be bt on off i'm going to click there and i want to make sure that bt or bluetooth is turned on i'm going to do that it says on great i'm going to click exit back up one then i'm going to scroll down to bt pairing click here and i want you to click on the very first sub menu which is seek bt all right now the radio is looking for a bluetooth connection so now what i'm going to do is up here on my tesla i'm going to click the bluetooth icon i'm then going to select add new device i want the car to look for a new bluetooth device and i'm going to click start search now remember the radio is looking for the car and the car is looking for the radio and we see it pop up here, E-L-E-T underscore A-G-H-F 06F1. That is the radio name. So I'm going to click select and it's going to pair. Unique number code. And there it is. It is now showing blue connected to E-L-E-T, which is the Anytone radio. Awesome. Now, how do we know it's paired up? Let's take a look at the screen on the radio just to be sure. If you are connected successfully to your car, you're going to notice here on the screen that the Bluetooth icon lights up blue, and that is confirming that you are indeed connected between the car and the radio. Now that is not all the fun we're going to have in this uh, tutorial because guess what? The Anytone 578 comes with this Bluetooth remote PTT button. Now this is going to revolutionize how you use your radio in your car. What I'm going to do is I am going to actually mount this back this up i am going to mount this to my steering wheel let's do that right now and there we have it mounted up on the steering column and this uh, velcro strap does come with the ptt button so this is not something extra now uh, how do you pair up the ptt button with the radio down here well first things first turn on your ptt button by just simply pressing it now notice when I press it, it's going to start to flash. That means it's in searching mode. It's looking for a connection to the radio. Now let's go down to the radio and get it connected. All right, back down here at the radio. Let's go ahead and get the PTT all ready to go. So let's go back to Bluetooth. Let's go back one click to the very bottom of the menu and go to BT PTT pair. Click on that and then select PTT pair. Remember, our blue light is flashing on the PTT button. It is currently looking to connect to the radio. And then click Connect. Now it's going to take a minute, maybe about 5 or 10 seconds, and you will get a confirmation on the screen of your Anytone 578. All right, there you see it. Bluetooth PTT is now connected to the radio as well. And we are ready to rock and roll, folks. Now, how do you confirm that it is actually connected? Notice how the P here in the upper right corner of the 578 has lit up blue next to the Bluetooth icon. That is your confirmation that PTT is actually connected via Bluetooth. 
All right, so what's gonna happen here, and what's so cool about this is, so my 578 is going to send audio from the radio through my car speaker system here in the Tesla, and it's gonna use the microphones inside the car to actually be the microphone for the radio. And we get to use this PTT button on the steering wheel. Let's give it a shot. Anybody monitoring 3171 for a quick check of the radio? This is K0LWC 3171. Oh, you know it sounds good. Tell me one VA. Thanks for coming back, Ivan. So uh, good audio, no complaints. Everything sounds proper. I'm just uh, doing a quick YouTube video here in the Tesla of the uh, Bluetooth setup. Everything sounding good? Oh, yeah, it sounds excellent. Uh, I, I wouldn't have known. All right, thanks, Ivan. I appreciate it. I'm going to finish up the video, but uh, again, appreciate you being out there. W1VAN, K0, LWC, 3171. How cool is that? Primo. It sounds awesome coming throughout the speakers all over the car. And uh, as Ivan, W1VAN, said, he could not tell a difference uh, from me using this microphone that comes with the radio and the microphone inside the car for the Tesla for Bluetooth. Now, your mileage may vary with your car, how good the microphones are, etc. But let me tell you, for the Tesla, this thing sounds choice, choice. Uh, this is awesome. This is an, an absolutely amazing feature by Anytone. So there you have it, the Anytone 578 Bluetooth install in the Tesla. Uh, I cannot recommend the Anytone 578 enough. It is a fantastic radio. I was kind of bummed when it took so long for any tone to get it out, but it's obvious they really wanted to take their time, get it right, and I think they did. So again, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll catch you again next time. Thanks, guys.